This is Nick Douglas for Adventures of a Sailor Girl on the ground for day two of the Energa Sopo match race. The world match racing tour continues and what a day for you out on the water. Yeah, yeah, it was pretty, um, not a good day for us, but yeah, definitely, um, a be memorable me one. Yeah, will be memorable. <laughs> so Team Gilmore, tell me, tell me what happened. We're, we're going to run through this one. I think it was your match versus Ian Williams, Jesse yeah, Finder. Yeah, we were racing Ian and his team and, um, going downwind we were, we were just in front of them and uh, you're having a great race yeah yeah it was quite close uh, it was turning out to be yeah pretty good race and um, and as we as we were going downwind on starboard and they were behind us covering us um, yeah. covering our breeze and um, as we as we left their wind though they tried to go behind us and broached out and um, as we left as we got into the clear wind again a, a, a big gust that had caused them to broach hit us at the same time and um, with the boat going so slow at the time the rig just had, gave out and snapped in half. It was it was a sight for everyone on the shore because we had a broaching you know Ian Williams and we had you losing a mast all in the same sort of three seconds it was a bit crazy. Yeah yeah we um we didn't really know sort of how it had happened at the time still don't really know it all happened pretty quickly but uh we knew at the start of the regatta that these masts are quite fragile and um you have to look after them with the with the runners and the backstay and um we thought we were doing that but um i think there is probably a wind limit where the masts still can't cope and i think we hit that today yeah it looked it looked to a, a lot of us on the shore that when ian sailed over you you sort of lost pressure and then as as the wind hit you again in that big, I think that was puff of the day, the whole boat seemed to just load up and the rig almost went faster than the boat. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like in this um, venue we're sailing at the moment, the wind's coming off the land and yeah. making it really gusty and uh, that was just a huge gust with a slow boat. So yeah. there was probably a 20 knot difference in the speed when it hit the um, hit yeah. the boat and yeah there was probably some pretty high loads going through it. Yeah definitely well, well, well done to you and the team anyway because it is a pretty high caliber event. Yeah yeah I think so um, this is probably our, this is our first match racing world yeah. tour event in a while and um, it was it was really good to to compete here and hopefully we can be back again but we didn't go so well this year so maybe maybe next time. You, you never know what will happen but um, some great match racing talent has come out of, of Perth and, and you've got plenty of people to race against when you get home too. Yeah I mean three Perth teams here is pretty pretty amazing and that's not even including Keith uh, so yeah it's really good to have a, a good good group of match racing people at home and yeah hopefully it continues. Absolutely awesome thank you for chatting with me and good luck for the rest of the event hey. Yeah thanks. <laughs> no worries. Come on, step back, step no, back. That's okay. You don't want to step back any no, further? No, no. <laughs> oh, I'm here with Yavonsky. No. What, a, what a great day for you here at the Energa Sopo match race. You're finishing on, on top of the leaderboard for today and we'll just have to wait and see what happens tomorrow. Oh yeah, we, we had a tough day at the office, but uh, you know, we're very, very happy and pleased with the result. Uh, my team has done an incredible job here, handling the boat in this tough, uh, tough conditions and uh, bringing us back you know, in the game when we were just behind. And then we were playing nicely the shifts and the uh, boat speed was okay, maneuvers obviously as well. So I'm very happy but tired, very yes, tired. I bet you are tired, but what a big day. And, uh, and, and nice to do it here in your home country as well. Oh, this is uh, you know, definitely a, a very, very uh, good point, you know, to be, to say, to, to say very well in, 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 uh, at your home waters. It's a kind of promotion for, 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 say, for, for sailing in Poland. We need this in Poland because sailing is still struggling with sponsorship, with everything, and we have still a long way to catch up the other countries. Yeah, but you say that you're struggling for interest, but I've seen nothing but fantastic interest from not only the spectators, but also the sponsors. It's, it's going so well. Yeah, you know how tough it's getting to get sponsors involved in the sailing, but, you know, this is going to help us. Uh, and I think, you know, like uh, support, support, I say, I used to say, this is the best uh, sailing stadium almost in the world, you know, oh, so it's, it's beautiful. Yeah, it is yeah. beautiful. Now I'm going to, I'm going to ask my little Polish assistant to come in here. This is Ola. She's been, been, she's been, she's not that little. She's been helping me out in the media center. So I just want you to ask him in Polish for me. What do you think about sailing in, in Sopo and how does it feel to go so well here on your home waters? And if you want to answer in Polish for the Polish fans, is that okay? Okay. Excellent. Or, or I'm going to try and learn Polish. Yeah. but I can't do it today. Więc powiedz nam jak się ścigało w Sopocie i jak to było zdobywać takie wspaniałe wyniki tutaj u siebie. Naturalnie, żeglowanie w Sopocie jest czymś szczególnym. 
Tutaj mamy wspaniały stadion żeglarski, możemy ścigać się blisko mola, gdzie obserwują nas tysiące kibiców, a to, że tak dobrze poczegrowaliśmy, naturalnie cieszy mnie niesamowicie. Moja załoga dzisiaj pracowała wspaniale, także mieliśmy dobry, dobrą szybkość jachtu, dobre manewry, także wszystko złożyło się na, na ten sukces. Ale, ale jeszcze, jeszcze jest długa droga do końca tych regat. How do I, how do I say will sail today? That's a good question. That's a difficult one, I guess. Yeah, how do, how do I say robota? Dobro roboto. Well done, sir. Very, very well sailed. Thank you so much. So there you have it. That's day two done and dusted. Plenty of action out on the water. Jablonski does lead the way, but Hansen has three races to sail tomorrow. Will he finish on top? Not sure. We'll have to wait and see, but we will have the remaining three flights that are left to sail tomorrow, as well as potentially the quarterfinals, semifinals, and then finals finishing up on Saturday. Uh, this is Nick Douglas for Adventures of a Sailor Girl here at the Energa Sopo Match Race. Over the beaches.